Hey guys, it's Kelly, and I'm here with a really massive book haul. This place in my town has a really big book sale every now and then where books are 10 rand per kilogram and that's just like insanely cheap. I mean most of the time when you go to a second hand book sale books will be like 10 rand each um, and often, often upwards of that you know I found hard cap hard back books I can't talk today oh my goodness I'll be fine and perfectly eloquent and then I'll sit down to film a video and suddenly the um and I'm sure I just looked incredibly attractive when I did that but you know whatever um so yeah books will be like 10 rand each often more for hard often a lot more for hardbacks I've seen books go up to like 50 rand and yeah I paid well my mum paid um like 85 rand for 26 books for me so for about a third of the price of a new book my mum bought me 26 books which is just insane but um, I'm actually only going to show you 24 because the other two are for other people. I got The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole, aged 13 and 3 quarters by Sue Townsend. I love Adrian Mole and I have The Cappuccino Years and another one, The Confessions of Adrian Albert Mole but I didn't have the first one which I think has always been my favourite. It's always going to be my favourite so I was really excited that I got this. I got The Thornbirds by Colleen McCullough but my best friend's kind of been nagging me to watch the series so when I saw the book I was like cool I'll, I'll buy it and then I can read it once I've watched the series because apparently the series is a lot better so I shouldn't taint my opinion of it by reading the book first. It's like the only time I will ever do that. Prairie Brides by a selection of authors. Um, I just thought these would be really great. It's just, yeah. I've read books like this before and they're always just amazing so. The Casebook of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. I love Sherlock Holmes. Um, I think that Sir Arthur Conan Doyle is a phenomenal author and yeah I need this for my Sherlock Holmes collection so. The Constant Princess by Philippa Gregory. I've read The Other Berlin Girl and I loved it. I've been wanting to read more of her books and I'm really getting into historical fiction at the moment so yeah I just thought that this would be a really good buy. A Long Way Down by Nick Hornby. I just thought that the person that came up with the concept for About a Boy couldn't really do much wrong. So, Swan by Naomi Campbell. Um, it's all about supermodels and I'm interested in supermodels and I was really interested to see how good Naomi Campbell's writing is. So, yeah. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. I've wanted to read this pretty much since I watched EZA and I haven't managed to find a, like, copy that hasn't been ridiculously expensive um, but now I found a second hand one so yay. Nightmares and Dreamscapes by Stephen King. I love Stephen King. I think he's a phenomenal author and obviously there were a lot of Stephen King books there because he's written so many um, so anytime you go to a book sale you're guaranteed to find at least one of his books but this one just caught my eye so I got it. Shopaholic and Baby by Sophie Kinsella. I recently read Confessions of a Shopaholic and absolutely loved it. I don't have the books in between because this is book five I think but I just thought that now when I do get the books in between or I find manage to read them like by getting them from the library or something then at least I'll have the next one to go on to. Adrian Mole and the Weapons of Mass Destruction. As I said I really love Adrian Mole um, and I didn't even know this book existed so I, I was so excited when I found it. The Time Traveller's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger. I have no idea how you pronounce her surname but I watched the film a few years ago, absolutely adored it. Um, thought it was definitely time to read the book and with this actually someone was going to buy it and then um, I guess they got to the checkout and they were like wow I've taken too many books so um, they came to where me and a friend of mine were and then they were like oh you might like these you know I got some like younger books um, and I'm, I've just realised that I, I'm not going to take them and then she put them all down and this was right there so I just snatched it up because I was like I really want to read this and I've wanted it for ages and it's got such a beautiful cover and then it's spoiled by that why do places do this? Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton I'm going to say Crichton um, I have I have The Lost World, which I think is the second book, and I ha obviously haven't read it yet because I didn't have the first one, but now I do, and I'm really excited. Atonement by Ian McEwan. This is one of my favourite books ever. I love, love, love Atonement. I finally have a copy. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that it is the movie cover. You know, it has Keira Knightley and James McAvoy on it, which is great because I love them, but <laughs> movie covers, mm. but I do finally have a copy of one of my, fa my favourite books, which is important and great, and that's that's what I'm going to focus on. 
not this glossiness. And, mm. Bridget Jones' Diary by Helen Fielding. I love these books. Um, I have The Edge of Reason, but I didn't have the first one, and I'm so excited to finally have a copy to add to my collection. The Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. As I said, love Sherlock Holmes, um, and need this for my collection. The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer. I thought this was the full thing, because then I saw another copy, and it was a lot thicker, and then I was like, well, this one will be lighter, so I'll get this one, but I've just realised that this is actually just a selection, and I think the other one was The Full Tales. But oh well, at least I have some of them right, because we read part of this for my English course earlier this year, and I really enjoyed it, so I thought, let me read the rest, except I can't read the rest because I don't have the whole thing. <laughs> Christmas Stories by Charles Dickens. I love Charles Dickens, and I love Christmas, so best combination ever. The Agony and the Ecstasy by Irving Stone. I really just got this because it's one of those classics, and thinking about it, I think I may have a hardback copy. But oh well. Out of the Silent Planet by C.S. Lewis. I love C.S. Lewis, and I've been wanting to read more of his books that aren't Narnia, so I just thought this would be a good buy. The Born Identity by Robert Ludlum. I have The Born Supremacy and The Born Ultimatum, but couldn't read them because I hadn't read the first one, and now I have it so I can read it and I'm really excited. The Great Book of Thrillers, which as you can see is falling apart a bit, and that's quite sad. The pieces of binding are falling out. I like quite like reading thrillers and I love old books like this. And lastly, The Other Berlin Girl by Philippa Gregory. As I mentioned, I really enjoyed this book um, and when I saw it I thought, well, it would be nice to have my own copy of it, so I got this. That's all. I'm not actually... I don't think I can pick all of them up to show you, but maybe I'll take like an aerial shot. that is all of the books that I bought. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got. Um, if any of the books in here are some of your favourites, let me know in the comments, let me know just what you think of the books that I got. And I'm so excited because now comes the really exciting part of buying new books, which is reorganising my shelves because I have like zero space left, so it's going to take a lot of careful packing and arranging, but I'm so excited because I love reorganising my bookshelves. I'm seriously considering filming a video on that because I love watching them. I'm really nosy like that, I just love watching people do things, um, especially when they're related to books. And I am planning on doing a bookshelf tour soon, so yeah, let me know if you'd like to see that, and I will see you very soon. Bye! The Born Identity by Robert Ludlow. The Born Identity by Robert Ludlow.